Can we dance in the moonlight? Hold hands if the mood's right. Make plans to the sunrise and sleep till noon. I'll take you to the beach. Get our toes wet and leave after sunset. And I would do it all again. Cause I don't want my day to end with always running in circles. Try to make up my mind. Should I ask you? I'm too scared to ask, but I'll probably ask you this time. It's been a couple of hours. Hello guys, a few weeks ago, one of our friends invited us over for an all-you-can-eat buffet get-together so I thought I would share our experience at a restaurant. We took a metro so we stopped at Union Metro Station. There is a closer metro station but we didn't want to switch metro lines so we took taxi which cost us 15 dirham. Here is the restaurant and as we walked in, we could see that some of our friends have already started their hot pot. I believe we got the tom yum soup on one side and the other one, if I'm not mistaken, is the special Thai herb soup. And then we are served with somtam or papaya salad. The a la carte and buffet menu are pretty similar. I would say that you get more bang for your buck if you get the buffet because you essentially can order everything on the a la carte menu for the price of 89 dirham. But it will be served in a smaller portion so that you can enjoy more dishes. This is what the interior of the restaurant looks like. We went there on a Friday night but it wasn't that full. So we could really enjoy our time eating the food. And here's the buffet bar. Everything is set up in a clean stainless steel container. These drink selections are free as part of the buffet but you do have to pay for soft drinks and mineral water. These are some of the sauces that they serve. I personally love the sukiyaki sauce for everything that I have at this bar. These are some veggie selections and some seafood selections. If you need extra ladle and stuff, this is where it's at. And of course, you cannot miss the Thai classic coconut ice cream. We will be having this for our dessert later on. If you know how to make papaya salad, you could go ahead and DIY. Otherwise, you could ask any of the helpful staff to make it for you. This chicken congee or jokai is another must try. It's so simple yet so flavorful at the same time. I believe this chicken feet soup is mostly for the noodles. And if you want something more filling, you could also have this fried rice. When at a Thai restaurant, of course, you had to try the Thai iced tea. This dish is called Saku Saikai, which is tapioca balls with chicken fillings. One of my favorite dishes as well. My friend Muji ordered this seafood noodle soup, I believe, and my husband got his bowl of chicken congee. This sukiyaki sauce is so good and I also got my bowl of chicken congee. Not long after that, we asked for our soup refills. This is the moment when everyone is starting to get full and was just passing around food trying to make the other person finishes it. 
when it comes to food, my husband is the real MVP. He still has some space for corns. On to the last course of the day which is coconut ice cream. My husband got it in a bowl while I requested for a sandwich. This is the Thai dumpling station. You could request for it as it is part of the buffet as well. The fillings is basically the same as the tapioca balls, but it is made into this soft dumpling version. The other table looks like they're still going strong. This is the aftermath of our table. There's also a wall of Polaroids behind us. This is what the amenities looks like. After that successful meal, we each had to pay 89 dirham. But if you waste any food, you might have to pay double. If you enjoy Thai food, I also made another video at Kun Chai Thai Food Restaurant. You can go to my channel and check that out. And for your information, this restaurant is open for 24 hours, 7 days a week. So you can drop by anytime for the reasonably priced buffet meals. This is us saying goodbye to our friends and the restaurant also happens to be near Emirates Flight Park. And finally, we hopped on a taxi to go back to Union Metro Station which cost us 17 dirham and 50 fills. For our entire dinner, it cost us 210 dirham and 50 fills. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm hearing you songs Your voice leading the choir to sing If you don't mind me asking to be heard My heart beats with yours So you can take me on